challenger on my left, fighting out of the blue corner. He enters the ring wearing white trunks with black trim, un peleador de Detroit, Michigan, en los Estados Unidos. Pesando 65.8 kilogramos, he weighed in at a trim and ready 145 pounds. Con un record de 32 victorias, sin derrotas, tiene 20 victorias por knockout. His record includes an outstanding 32 wins. No losses with 20 wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome the undefeated challenger, ranked the number two contender by the IBF, presentando al retador número dos en el mundo, el invicto, Oba, the Motor City. His opponent across the ring is the champion fighting out of the red corner, wearing white trunks with blue trim. Fighting out of Cupe Alto, Puerto Rico, con un peso de 66 kilos, 500 gramos. His weight at 146 and one half pounds. Tiene un record de 24 victorias sin derrota, con 20 ganadas por knockout. His outstanding record includes 24 wins, no losses, with 20 of his wins coming by way of knockout. Welcome, the IBF welterweight champion tonight, making his fifth defense of his title. Demos la bienvenida al campeón, el invicto, Felix. Robert Gonzalez. Look at me. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Let's just clear it out. All right, as you take a look at the judges, the you see the Mexican judge Hector Vilches, Roberto Ramirez from Puerto right, Rico, a good friend from down there. We welcome Roberto Ramirez here to Mexico and Frank Gaza from the United States. Look at me. Roberto Ramirez, one of the fine judges from Puerto Rico, and it will be tough for him to make sure that he's fair with Felix Trinidad against an American fighter in Obacar, but he's that type of judge. He can judge any place in the world, and that's why the International Boxing Federation has named Roberto Ramirez from Rio Piedras in Puerto Rico as one of the fine judges in this contest. Well, we're set to go. I don't know about you folks. It's 50 degrees as Roberto Gonzalez of Houston, Texas gives the final instructions to the fighters. I've got goosebumps and it has nothing to do with the 50 degrees. This will be an exciting war. I love boxing and I hope you do too. Get ready for World War III. Felix Trinidad and Obacar, two undefeated fighters with tremendous corners behind them. Manager Rory Holloway right there in the leather coat who handles Mike Tyson's camp. Panama Lewis is licensed to train down here in Mexico. Stacy McKinley, the crocodile Steve Fitch, Miguel Diaz and Manny Fernandez all with Obacar. Emil Chardet, Felix Trinidad Sr., Juan Guzman and Freddie Trinidad in the corner of Felix. Now it's up to the champion Trinidad and his white trunks with his native Puerto Rican colors, blue and white, and blue and red trim, going down the side. Obacar in the solid white trunks. All right. That's Panama Lewis, who trained Obacar. He's like Bundini Brown, if you remember the Muhammad Ali days. Here we go. You can cut the tension with a knife. Round one, the IBF welterweight championship of the world. Trinidad to the right of your screen, to the left in the solid white trunks, Obacar. Car goes to work downstairs. Trinidad holds those hands high. Remember, people have questioned the chin of Felix Trinidad. I don't know how they question it too much. He's 24 and 0 with 20 KOs, but he has been on the canvas. Coming off that fourth round TKO win over Yuri Boy Campus. He's a terrific boxer, super tough. Obakar has fine boxing skills, been boxing since he was eight years old. Trinidad, 21 years old, Carr, 22. Carr actually has more victories, although he's the challenger. 32-0. Tremendous amateur record has Obakar, over 100 amateur fights. Felix Trinidad, one of those fine boxers from Puerto Rico. Tremendous skills, tremendous God-given ability. Little strategy in the early going here. 
Both guys throwing a lot of leather. Neither one landing too much just yet. Trying to get their positioning and timing down. Neither guy unloading the right hand too much yet. Feeling each other out with a left jab. There goes the right hand lead by the challenger, Obakar. Oba, remember, said he'll knock out Trinidad in the fifth. He also said the way Trinidad stands right in front of him, that Trinidad is tailor-made for him. Obakar, who moves in and out, might be a little more difficult for Trinidad to catch up with. But if Trinidad catches him with a right hand or a solid left hook, Obakar will go. It's been a battle of words between the fighters and their corners have been tremendous cheerleaders all week. Both guys showing tremendous hand speed. Over short with that right hand. Notice the quickness of the feet of Felix Trinidad. He does stand in front of you, but he's very quick coming out. The great trainer Angelo Dundee says, what I like about Trinidad is he's the type of guy that hits and don't get hit. Hit and don't get hit, and that's the idea in boxing. Difficult first round to score. Neither guy really taking command. Neither guy really scoring too many punches. A fairly even first round at this point. Coming up to the 22nd mark, remaining in round one. A feeding out round for both guys. Just trying to get an idea of where their feet should be positioned. Trinidad continues to come forward, but very quick to get back out when Carr gets aggressive. What Trinidad doesn't want to do is paw with that left and throw a few more right hands down. All right, round one and even one. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, I came out here 60-40. Yes. That's Panama Lewis talking to Obacar. Don't listen. forget the double jab. All right, and I want you to bump and weave now. All right, don't stay up and roll. Don't do about that jab with me. Huh? Don't do about that jab All right? And don't put the right hand to the body. Don't put the right hand to the body. We did. Huh? Same thing, repeat that round. That's Jamil Chardet giving instructions there, along with Felix Trinidad Sr. Juan Guzman and Freddy Trinidad in there. All right, we're coming up to round number two. This is scheduled for 12. Round one, a feeling out round for both fighters. Let's see if they pick up the pace here. Obercar comes upstairs, flips Trinidad on the right ear, nails him with the right hand, and Trinidad's chin tested for the first time, and down he goes. Now, when that happened in the fourth round of his fight against Yuri Boy, as he takes the standing eight count, it gave him an adrenaline rush, and then he punished Yuri Boy. Now, is Carr in trouble because of the adrenaline rush that Trinidad will have? Or can Carr, in fact, put him away? Trinidad seems to have his legs back, but his chin has been tested, and it didn't hold up. Real serious look in the face of Felix Trinidad now. Carr almost got him with the right hand again. Obacar filled with confidence now in round two. As the left took by Trinidad, Carr really loading up with the right hand. He's almost throwing caution to the wind, and you can't do that against a guy like Felix Trinidad, because he can catch you as quick as Obacar caught him. See Oba loading up with the right hand? He wants to keep that jab in the face and then throw it. He loads up with that right, he'll get tagged with the right hand by Trinidad. Trinidad can clip you if you throw a wild right with a left hook too. A lot more strategy than what you would think at this stage in this fight. Trinidad definitely got a wake up call though from Obacar. A couple of low blows and Robert Gonzalez from Houston says, hey, keep him up guys. Wild with that left hand sending over the head of Felix. Felix faints away as Obakar kind of fainted with that right hand. You see Oba's jaw hanging down just a bit. I tell you, Panama Lewis has done a tremendous job getting Obakar ready for this fight. He's filled with confidence. 
Trinidad has a very slight reach advantage by one inch, but he hasn't taken advantage of it thus far. You notice it's Trinidad that's doing the stalking. Whenever Trinidad has been knocked down in his career before, he's come back to knock out his opponent. You see Oba digging to the body. He's not just going head hunting after the big knockdown. But remember the invisible quality that all great champions have, and that's hot. And that's what's being tested tonight by Felix Trinidad. The bell ends round two. A good round for Obakar. A 10-8 round for Obakar. All right, we'll show you the knockdown. Watch this now. Obakar loads up with the right hand and catches him right on the chin. But not a knockdown that really had him on any kind of queer street or anything. He got his legs right back. But watch it. It's a looping right hand. Gets right between the gloves. And what he did was he caught Trinidad just kind of waltzing in. And notice it's Felix coming in all the time. He said the fact that Trinidad stands right in front of him will lead to a knockout. He said he would knock out Trinidad in the fifth round. But Trinidad throughout his career is with a bell sound to start round three. Trinidad in the white trunks to the right of your screen with the red and blue now to the left of your screen. Obakar in the solid white trunks. Trinidad can pick up the pace too. As his looping right hand. Left hook and taken on the gloves by the Motor City Bowman. Wow, with that right hand is over. This is round three. It's scheduled for 12. Bob Sheridan here for this IBF welterweight championship of the world. It's the 147-pound division. And both of these fighters came to take a title back home with him. Overcar wants to go to Detroit with his belt. Felix Trinidad wants to return to Coupe Alto in Puerto Rico. Trinidad surprised by that straight right hand in the second round of Obakar that flattened him instantaneously. We're to the second minute of round three. Trinidad continues to force the fight, continues to stay right in front of Obakar, the position that Obakar said he would take advantage of. Oba works to the body, works upstairs. Trinidad is patient. He needs to double more with that left hand. Got to get that left hand in the face of Obakar. Get Oba moving towards his power of the right hand. Get that left. He's got to double with it. Now he goes to the ear with the right hand. Nice left hook by Felix. This is a better round for Trinidad. The car just looks stronger. Another left hook by Trinidad. Bounces the left off the forehead. Below the eye of the Motor City fella, Obakar. Right hand grazes the jaw of Felix. Felix has that uncanny ability to come in and get back. When you don't get back, you can get in trouble. But Felix is looking for his shot to land a right hand as well. There's a lot of strategy involved in the way these two guys are fighting. Obakar shifts to his left, back to his right. Showing movement, getting angles on Trinidad. Trinidad stands right in front and tries to load up with the right hand occasionally. He's got to throw more rights, but he's got to keep that left in the face of Obakar. Both of these guys are in tremendous shape. Both corners have worked them to the bone. And you take a look at the bodies, and they are in terrific shape. Wow, with the right hand is Felix Trinidad. Trinidad with his back to you. Obakar to the right of your screen. Closing seconds of the third. Alright, a better round for Felix Trinidad. There we are in the locker room of 
the world champion in the WBC Super Lightweight Division, Julio Cesar Chavez. This man is an icon here in Mexico. We absolutely love him. If you think Michael Jordan is bigger in the United States, this guy's bigger in Mexico. Look at that face. You wouldn't think he was a fighter, would you? And the guy's 92-1-1. One one. 79 KOs. And do they love him here? Well, as I looked down at my scorecard, I had the first round even. I had car by two with the knockdown in the second. And I thought Trinidad won the third. So it's a fairly close fight. This is round four. At this point, Obacar looks a bit stronger. But we'll see how it goes. We're in the fourth round. Trinidad two inches taller, pound and a half heavier, a year younger, and has a one inch reach advantage over Obakar. And Obakar seems stronger. Notice the way Oba will walk to his right, shift back to his left, make it difficult for Felix to chase him down. And Felix comes straight at him all the time. And that's what Oba likes. He can counter, as you saw that counter right hand, shot that caught him and knocked Obakar, or rather Obakar, knocked down Trinidad in the second round. Nice right hand, cut down. Left hook catches him. Another left hand inside. As Oba was throwing a big left hook, he was caught with a crisp left hand of Felix Trinidad. Oba had better not get careless with this guy. He could catch you and surprise you. Trinidad looks stronger now in the fourth round. I thought he turned things around a bit in the third. He definitely looks stronger here in the fourth. He's really chasing over down. And he has that confident look back in his face again. Over continues to work, digging to the lower part of the chest, to the solar plex area with that left hand. What over has got to do is double with the left hand. He can't throw it out once. As Trinidad backs off from it. If you want to set up the right hand, you've got to throw it twice, Oba, and you can't call like that. But Trinidad, the same thing. You get it in the face and then throw the right. Cut loose with the right hand when he comes in. Obakar has a tendency to dig to the body with the right hand. When he does that, he drops his left shoulder, and he's wide open for the right hand. Let's see if Tito Trinidad can pick that up. And if he does, he'll flatten Obakar. See when he throws the right hand, how he dips his left shoulder? You know what I mean? And as soon as Trinidad realizes there's an opening, he'll take advantage of it. He's that good. He's that slick. Wild with the right hand and steady Felix. Left hook raises the jaw. The right hand clips it. He's backing over off again. Bangs the head back of Obakar. Makes Carr miss again. Oba goes with that right hand and Felix just moves just a fraction away from it. He does a great job avoiding shot. This is a good round for Felix Trinidad. Nice crisp jab in the face of Carr. Bounces it off the head of the bell. A good round for Trinidad. You're moving to your left and you're rolling. That's it. And you're waiting two rounds for him. Get up first. Keep poking that jab. Fix his nose. All right, pull his knee on top of that. In the corner with Obakar. You want him back, but don't let him into the fight. Ship him around, sin man. We we'll work hard in the gym. Deep breath, baby. Deep breath. Take deep breath. Step up. Bob and weave, baby. Bob and weave. If you go to your left, you got to roll. You got to roll. Watch this right hand by Felix Trinidad, a looping right, which spins Obakar around, and then he's unable to catch up with him again. Instead of going with that right hand the second time, he should have come back, set himself up. Now, right here, go right back to the left jab, but instead he goes fishing with the right hand and misses. And he let Oba off the hook there. One of the questions, should he go to the body? Well, I think the way Trinidad's fighting right now is effective for him. Saw him go head on in that time, 
And you saw the referee, Robert Gonzalez, say, hey, Oba, watch the elbows. He can't set your guy up with elbows. Big body shot that time by Trinidad. And that answers that question, should he go to the body? If he can do it, he will. I've got the fight dead even after four, and you heard uh, Panama Lewis in between rounds said, don't let this guy back in the fight. Trinidad with a surprise knockdown. He went to the canvas for one of the few times in his career in the second round. This is the fifth round, the round in which Obakar said he would knock out Felix Trinidad. He doesn't look like he's pressing for the knockout right here. As he hangs onto the head, Trinidad bangs the body of Obakar. And there's a low blow again, and Gonzalez again says, keep it up or I'll take a point away. Gonzalez, an excellent referee, right on top of him as soon as that low blow occurred. And a low blow, even when it's accidental like that, is still a foul. And if it continues to happen, a point should be taken away. Trinidad seems to have full confidence back after the surprise knockdown in the second round. Obakar is the one who looks more concerned right now, at least facial expression-wise. Plenty of confidence and plenty of business look on the face of Felix Trinidad. We get the idea he knows exactly what he's doing in there. Oba looks a bit concerned, but certainly he's still very, very aggressive. We're in the fifth round of his scheduled 12 round IBF Welterweight Championship of the World battle between two undefeated fighters. The crowd really likes it. And Trinidad bangs him behind the ear. Look at that body shot by Felix. Catches him with the right hand. Another right hand, looping left hand. Felix beginning to beat over to the punch. And just as I say that, Oba counters with the right and the left. Good, and up, now he wants Trinidad. Keep him up. But both guys warn about low blows. And again, they're not intentional, but they are fouls. Look at these guys exchanging shots. Blood coming from the nose of Oba Kahn. And now if there was any question coming into the fight, would it be a war? Yes, it is. This is all we expected right here. Two undefeated fighters at the peak of their careers. And look at the battle they're putting on. Obatar and Felix Trinidad. Side to side bounces Carr. Felix continues to come in. And Carr hangs on for the first time in the fight. Closing seconds now of this the fifth round in a terrific boxing match between two terrific prize fighters. Bella and Stephen. Is Tony the Tiger Lopez's dressing room. The pride of Sacramento, California. 45, 4 and 1, 32 knockouts. Former three time world champion. Number two in the WBC. And would he love to upset the apple cart of Julio Cesar Chavez? You see that grease across the right eye of Tony Lopez. He has been cut a few times in his career. This fight is shaping up as some war. Go I've got get Trinidad down, slightly out in front now. That's going to work now. I'm going to work. Overcast over surprise Trinidad with a straight right hand knockdown in the second round. Let's go. And since then, Trinidad, in my opinion, has won three, four, and certainly five. This is round number six. It's scheduled for 12. All right, time is back in. This is the sixth round of the IBF welterweight title, 147-pound division. As the left hand bangs up the forehead, this straight left hand to the face of Obakar. And Trinidad is really beginning to box now. The adrenaline was really pumped up in the early going, and this is settled into a real tough boxing match for both parties. Obakar looks stronger in the first couple of rounds and dropped. Trinidad, there's the left hook that doesn't phase Trinidad, and you see Obakai has the blood trickling from his nose as he tries to load up the right hand, and Trinidad able to bounce away. No measure, Carr, no measure! Carr's prediction of a fifth round knockout has come and gone. In fact, the fifth round was more of a boxing lesson by Trinidad. 
teaching his older mentor, Opaka. It's unbelievable. The champ is 21. The challenge is 22. Between them, they won over 55 fights. Neither one has tasted defeat. Oba loaded up so much with that left hook, he went down to the canvas and got right back up. Look at the way Trinidad beats and miss. And when you talk about ring generalship and defense, boy, you've got to give some of that to uh, Felix Trinidad. He's forcing the fight, he's dictating the pace of the fight, and he does a great job making Oba Khan miss. Some real good defense, in spite of the fact he just comes in. See the way he slips, punches, and catches Kyle with a left. It's shut the eyes for just a second. Another left hook, and the right hand gets through. Oba answers with the left of the goal. Looping right hand catches Oba. Oba's hands have slowed down quite a bit right now. As I say that, he bangs Felix with a left, straight left hand. Look at Felix. He knows he's got power back in him now, and he's got a lot more confidence. Nice series of punches by Felix Trinidad. Right hand gets through, puts the ear of Oba. Right hand again on the ear, left hook. Felix Trinidad racking up some points. As I say that, Kerr bangs him with the right hand. A lot more punches being landed by Felix Trinidad. Some heavier blows being landed by Oba. As I say that, a heavy shot catches Kerr. Left hook catches him. Kerr answers right back. Closing seconds now of the sixth round. Look at this wall we got. Oba Kerr is staggered at the closing seconds of the round. Felix Trinidad looks totally composed. Over here, there's some confusion in this corner. Obercar was nailed in the after bell exchange in the sixth round. Do it for this guy. Watch the left hand by Felix Trinidad. Boom. That's it right there. Wow, this has turned out to be a war. Watch the end of the round now, and here's exactly what happened. Both guys are throwing punches. Can't tell exactly where the bell ends, but you'll see Carr get clipped. Right there. The bell sounded, and he caught him, and the referee warns him, but... Here we go with live action in the seventh round. Let's see if Felix can pick it up where he left off or whether Obakar can turn this thing back his way. I've got Trinidad winning three through six, which has him ahead in the fight after being knocked down in the second. Obakar apparently has let Trinidad back into this fight. Of course, the three judges will do the scoring. Hector Vilches of Mexico, Robert Ramirez of Puerto Rico, and Frank Gallagher of Southgate, Michigan. Obakar has to hang on. And Trinidad is having his way here in the seventh round. He's got Oba really shell shot. Right hand, clips him. Right hand again. Left hook. Oba tries to answer, uppercut by Trinidad, and Oba has to hang on again. Felix Trinidad punishing Oba Carr a bit. Oba trying to throw punches, showing his courage, why he's undefeated, but it's Felix doing the scoring. Oba Carr is almost out of his feet. He's still dangerous, though. Felix with a looping shot and a top body shot, backing Oba Carr off. Now Oba Carr has his legs back. But Felix right on top of him. Obakar looking at fifth shell shot as Trinidad is really working the body. Remember we had that question in the fifth. Should Felix go to the body? Now he's punishing Obakar to the body with shot. And as they say that, he bangs him with a left upstairs and a right hand. Trinidad cut. Straight left hand by Obakar. Straight left hand by Trinidad, right hand, Oba looks ready to go. And he 
Daddy hangs on. Trinidad pummeling Obacar as the blood comes from the mouth of Obacar and the nose. Wow, it is. There goes the mouthpiece of Obacar. Trinidad, very businesslike, really working it over, really beating him up inside. They call timeout. They get the mouthpiece back in. And this will be a big advantage to Obacar to get a little breather from the assault, the continuous barrage that Felix Trinidad was putting on in the seventh round. Felix has really turned things around here. All right, time is back in. Here we go. We continue with the seventh round. Obakar working as hard as he can, but Trinidad beating him to the punch as the bell ends the seventh round. Another good round for Felix Trinidad. Come on, you got to suck it up now. Don't give away the second. Don't stay here and fight this man. Fight, brother. Do you use that strong leg? Use it, brother. Use your speed, please. Oh, you understand? You're trying to roll a man right hand too much, and we know it. That's how you get caught. Forget about rolling his right hand. Just go to work and stay busy. All right, and drop that. Okay? All right. Drop that. Fuck that shot. Okay? Reach in your mouth and, and get a squeeze in there. Bajito contra. Pero pegando. Y pullando. Está bien. Y pullando. Y comiendo está bien. Bajito que se muera ahora. Con la mano ahora. Ya está bueno, ya. Con eso. Tiene distancia, porque se llama que él tiene más pegada que él. Toma la iniciativa tú siempre. Ya pasó donde tenía que pasar. Ese no es hombre para ganarnos nosotros. Párate. 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 Felix Trinidad has turned this fight around. What a job he's doing with Obakar. Obakar goes to the right hand lead. Trinidad bangs him inside. And now the referee says to both of them, I want a clean fight. Keep it up. Box cleanly. It's been a clean fight, but both guys are so aggressive. Both guys want it so bad. There have been some questionable blows right on the belt buckle. A little bit of hitting after the bell, and a little bit of hitting on clinches. Oba looks pretty strong right now. You see the way Trinidad avoids the shots, though? Punch like that can take a lot out of his steam. That was a real low blow that time by Trinidad. Felix got away with that one because the referee was to their far side. Two left hooks again to the head. Nice left hand. If Trinidad can set him up with those lefts like that and then bang him with the right hand, Oba will go. He almost had him down in the seventh round. He doesn't want to give Oba this round. Trinidad continues on the stalking assault. Right hand, left hook. Left hook was taken on the glove. Trinidad just ducks underneath it. What a great job Trinidad has done defensively in slipping punches by Obacar. He bangs the head back of Obacar. Bangs him to the body inside. Sets him up with the elbow and bangs him away. Oba's getting beat up inside and outside right now. Every once in a while, they'll unleash a bomb like that and like that and they both miss because of the head movement. Even though Trinidad comes right at you, he shows you the head movement that makes it the part of this. Nice up and got right hand. Down goes Carr. Count is up to two. And three and four. And now five and six and seven and eight. He takes the standing eight count. So both guys have been down. Trinidad, he come in now. Fire with the left hand. And over has to hang on. Perfectly clear are the eyes of Felix Trinidad and Oba's in a heap of trouble. Another left hook. He's ready to go again. Right hand. Down he goes again. Remember, there is no three knockdown rule in the IBF. No three knockdown rule. Karen's been down twice. He walks forward. Referee says okay. You see the time remaining. And that's it. It's all over. It's all over. It'll be scored as a TKO win for Felix Trinidad. A brilliant, brilliant effort by Felix Trinidad. Boy, it was.
was a fight that started out with Obakar looking like he was so strong. And then from three through seven and into the eighth round, an absolute boxing lesson by Felix Tito Trinidad. He's a terrific, terrific boxer. And once again, when he got knocked down, the adrenaline flew, and that meant trouble for Obakar. From that point on in the second round, it was all Trinidad in my scorecard. We'll show you the first knockdown again. Trinidad in complete command here, and watch the first knockdown. Here we go. Felix ducking underneath the shot by Oba. Nice uppercut. He's got him really hurt, and then nails him with the right hand. So the uppercut followed by the right hand. Now Oba gets up. Left hook. We saw you. We saw you. Bang, the right hand. That's the second knockdown. And Trinidad wasn't finished. He still tried to clip him with a left hook. And he's the end of the fight. At this stage, Oba's hurt. Got really hurt with that right hand. Another big right hand. And that's the point where you don't want a 22-year-old kid with an undefeated record coming into the fight to get hurt. There's a lot of fine fights left in Oba Carr. But tonight, it was not meant to be. It was all Felix Trinidad from round three on. What a terrific effort by Trinidad. A good effort, by the way, by Oba Khan. But Trinidad really showed his boxing skills tonight. All right, we're going to go up to Jimmy Lennon for the official timing. We'll have that for you, and then perhaps an interview with Felix Trinidad and perhaps Oba Khan. You see the confusion in the ring. As soon as we have some of the confusion cleared away, it came at 2.41 in the eighth round, but we'll make that official with Jimmy Lennon's announcement. Look at Don King. Watch this. As Trinidad comes in, catches him with a big uppercut and the right hand. That's all she wrote at that stage for Oba. He's able to get up, but his legs aren't there. And right there, that's the look of a beaten fighter. Puffiness underneath both eyes, blood from the nose. Here's Jimmy Lennon Jr. And Jimmy having trouble getting clear in there. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, with the time of two minutes, 41 seconds in round number eight. The referee stops the contest. El referee terminó la pelea. El ganador por knockout técnico. The winner by way of technical knockout and still champion, el invicto, Felix Tito.